and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to episode 9 with AC Capri, our created club in FC25, situated on a little island in Italy. We're having fun on that island. We started off season 2 last episode. This episode, we keep it going. We're gonna play some more games. Let me show you what we have on tap in this episode. We're gonna play four matches, the next four matches in our season. We do a lot of simming, but I always like to start off playing. And then we'll end off the episode looking at about two months of scouting reports from Mexico, Uganda, and Portugal. Now let's get into it. Your player of the episode from episode number eight, Luigi Rigatoni. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna ride this Rigatoni into the sky. He sure does save AC Capri when things are looking grim. First match of the season last episode, first clean sheet of the season. He now has 6 in 20 appearances for the club so far. He already just got a huge upgrade from winning last season's player of the season, so I'm just giving him plus 2 diving, small bump, for a player that's truly impressing us every episode at this point. The other thing I wanted to note within the squad, just some house cleaning things, I'm lone listing Pablo Guzman, 48 overall, 3rd string keeper. He's probably not going to play very much this season, so alone would be best for the Uruguayan. And just another thing that I saw in the comments, I do appreciate you guys leaving me comments and suggestions. I can't remember everything, but don't expect me to do everything you comment. However, for this, we did hire some coaches. And I don't really know what's going on with this menu, but I just hired five coaches and I can't see any of them. I can't see their names anywhere. I don't really know how to find that in the menu. I hate this year's menus, to be honest. I really do. As much as I'm loving career mode overall, I really hate the menus. Not very user-friendly at all. And the last thing I want to touch base on, tactics. I'm going to leave the 4-4-1-1 for now. I know I got a suggestion to play the 4-3-3, and we've basically switched to the 4-3-3 every year. I think the 4-3-3 is a good idea if this formation doesn't work, but what I'm realizing more as I play with the 4-4-1-1 is that we need to take our time in the build-up a little bit more, and be patient with the ball. And I don't think playing against high overall teams is our issue, to be honest. We should still be able to get occasional shots from our wingers and midfielders, but at a minimum from our striker spot. And just a note from the academy that I forgot to bring up last episode, that Trinidad winger that we brought in last season, I think it was Tony Lawrence, is now Miguel Lala. Definitely feeling more like a player from Trinidad. I did my research on Trinidad names and appearances, and this is what I came up with. Alright, now it's time for our second match of the season. First start for Teal Bunbury up front. Michelangelo Del Grasso gets to start as well. Ferrari on the wing, and Leo Brito starts at left back for this one. It's going to be his breakout scenario. It's going to be pretty simple. If Leo Brito can start and finish this match, and Capri can get a draw or win, I'm going to give him plus one to his pace. So if if we can get a result and Leo Brito can be a part of it, I'm gonna give him a little pace upgrade. We're wearing the third kits today here on the road against Brescia. Let's get into it. Andiamo! Forza Capri! Michelangelo gives it away. Quick fire chance for Brescia, and we're down 1 0. Unbelievable! Just like that. Why you can't turn it over right there? I don't really know what I was trying to do, to be honest. Kind of interesting kits here. I don't really know what Brescia is trying to go for. I don't know if I like them or not, but we're down 1 0. Coming forward now is Ferrari. Off to Brault Guillard. Gets the shot off. It's blocked. It's out for a corner. That works. We're targeting Alfredo on the corner here, who will get his head on it, and he forces a save. Good routine. Leo Brito. Nice interception there. It is out for a corner, though. Good passing here from Brescia, and Luigi saves, come on! Oh my god, off the corner, it's another save! Might come to a chance here for Brescia, I thought Chiro won that! Luigi again! Goodness! Leo Brito winning it back, very well done, but he turns it over! Tried to move it a little bit too quickly, I think that's what I've been worried about! Brescia! Oh my god! Oh my god! Luigi, are you kidding me? Oh, come on! God damn it, I thought we were gonna win that. 2 0 Brescia, they have been absolutely peppering us with shots. I'm not surprised with the scoreline right now. Armando, that's outstanding. He's still going. Echevarria. Forward to Brokiard. Oh, I really thought one of those two was going to make a run towards goal. 
it breaks down at the end there. It's half time. It was a frustrating half in the attack for our coppery. Namdi Ofabor is gonna come in for Michelangelo Del Grasso for the second half. Arash wins it off the corner. Rashia win it back. Arash intercepts. Come on. We are so bad at clearing off of corners. I don't know how to switch my guy to the front post. I don't know how to do it. Usually the right stick switches players no matter what you're doing. But on corners, for some reason, I'm locked onto the guy it starts me on and our front post is always exposed. Just a flaw in the game I'm noticing right now. Come on, Namdi. Oh, it's another through ball that opens us up and this is what we're probably expecting from Capri for a long time now. Oh, I just want to get a goal to end this match because we have imploded elsewhere. This is good passing here and Leo Brito goes forward. Is there a chance to cross it in here for Teal Bunbury? It is a good cross, but a save. Subs, Mo Money, Santana Scott in Baralt Guillard out to the right side now. Wow, just another chance and another goal. Five! For Brescia. We will have better days. We will absolutely have better days, but this has just been demolition. Wow, just amazing dribbling from Armando. Through to Broke Yard, and our first goal of the season goes to the Canadian, Zachary. Zachary Broke Yard. I'll take it. A goal in this match? That's a win for me, I think. Leo Brito, outstanding defending from the young left back there. And Luigi has the ball in hand to finish off this match. That's basically the story right there. It was all Brescia. Some absolute bright spots to shout out. Armando, absolutely incredible from the Argentinian. And Zachary Brogiard got his first goal. And I guess amongst a terrible defensive match, Leao Brito put in a 7.0 rating. Alright, now it's time for our second match of the episode. Third of the season, we have a draw and a loss. For the lineup, Santana Scott is going to start at left wing for the first half of this one. Brault Guillard on the right this time. Vasilis in goal, and your breakout scenario is going to be for Calcidon Jones at center back. If he can get 60% or higher on his tackle success for the day, plus one to each of his tackle attributes. Let's get into it. Andiamo! Oh my god, we've got a foul. Let's just see if we can hit a long shot here. With Mbube. From distance off the post! Samuel Mbube! With a just a howitzer of a shot here. Look at this thing. It had eyes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What a ball there. Vasilis probably could have done a little bit better there, but that was a pinpoint pass. Look at this cross here. On a platter. He doesn't even have to take it down. And Bube winning it back. Broke yard. Forward to Mo Money. Mo Money. Off to Zachary Brokeyard. Here's a chance for Capri. ZBG. Second goal of the season. 1-1. One, one. How about this? Quick counterattack, and there is the pace to break through the defense. Nice finish from the Canadian as well. Mbube out wide to Schiante. In the middle, we have Echeverria. Armando has some space. He hits it. That's not far off. Really noticing Zachary Brokeyard after the fact, but I still like the idea to shoot. Oh, Kalshidon is sort of beaten here. Chiro slides. Vasilis makes up for that earlier. Non-save with a nice save there. This is what I'm talking about. I can only control like two guys at the near post. Luckily, Namdi heads this out, but corners are a problem in this game. Oh, and it's through here, and it's in. Just like that Sampdoria score. 2-1. Santana Scott to Nambi Ofabor to Armando. Things are opening up a little here. Broke yard. Off to Arash Motara. Jabiafar. Poor. Rockets it. Chance here for Sampdoria. Oh, how does it fall back to him? Are you kidding me? Oh, we were doing so well defensively there. And it just kindly falls back to him. Oh, look at Zachary Brokeyard. Winning it back here. And trying to beat the last man. And he can't get the foul or the win. Ah. Let's 
It's got to be an easy interception. Uh, just look at look at them continuously win it back out of nothing here. 4-1 just before halftime. That was the most EA goal ever. Oh my god, it's just, it's just, it could be better. It could be better right now. Well, at least we scored a goal. Bring it on Leo Brito for Schiante. Nicely done to start this half. Sam and Bube and Echevarria looks to release Mo Money. Mo Money. This is really well done here. Off to Namdi Ofabor and the defender steps in front of him at the perfect time. Unbelievable. Intercepted by Brokeyard here to Arash. Forward to Mo Money. Good touch here. Mo Money rips it wide. Good block there by Chiro. Need a big half out of you. May not win this game, but I want to go out with a little bit of dignity right now. This is what I'm saying. I just want to be able to switch on to the right guy so I can put them in front of a body. And they're always going to get a header off on these corners. God. Armando. Great touches through the midfield here. And Mo Money is tackled immediately after winning it. Got to be a little quicker, but Armando again doing his thing. Santana Scott winning it. Getting it here to Mo Money. Mo Money. Look at him go here. We just needed one extra move or something. Mbube to Echevarria. Oh my god, they're stepping up at the right time for every freaking play. Mbube wins it back. Come on. God, they read it well. Everything they're reading. A little bit of an experimental moment here. We're going to put Giuseppe Ferrari at striker. Echo Saran out to the wing and Zachary goes out to the left wing. I want to see how Giuseppe does in that striker spot. It's a nice job here to win it back and Already, we're going to get a chance for Giuseppe to attack the defense. Why does he seem so slow? Giuseppe has it here. Cutting it back. And they just do just enough there. I wanted to play it in the middle. It was cut off. I wanted to cut it in. They read it. It's just incredible. And Bube doing really well. Armando off to Ferrari. Zachary broke yard. Not enough. It was a close to being another attack, but... I'm telling you, Sampdoria have read everything we've done today. Namdi winning it back. He's been a little bit everywhere this match. Giuseppe Ferrari to Brito. Is this going to come to a chance? Giuseppe Ferrari. Does he have help? He does, but he plays it to nobody when there was two options. Echo Saran to Armando. Look at them read everything we're doing here. Broke yard. Ferrari! Oh my god, I hit circle too many times! He had an easy finish right there. Could have been a nice way to finish off an otherwise frustrating match. Like, look at the stats here. Possession, we won that category. More passes, more tackles. Expected goals, 1.6. That can always go up. Shots, 7. That's not bad. And it's safe to say Calcidone did not get his upgrade. None of our defenders really impressed today. And before we get into our next match, Akinola Akpan has come to us. He's unsettled. He wants to get called up. And honestly, I don't know if he's really ready for it yet, but I am going to call him up and I'm going to loan him out. And there's definitely some big news surrounding the lineup today. You can see it at center back. Arash is starting over Chiro at center back. If he can get a 7.0 match rating as a center back, I'm going to give him plus one to his defensive rating altogether. Our captain has been benched for this one. Teal Bunbury, the 35 year old, is going to be our captain against Venezia. We're taking some chances today. Changes might be coming at halftime if it goes poorly, but. Let's see what happens. Andiamo. And if you've never seen Venezia's stadium in real life, which is where we're playing this match, it's beautiful. It's one of the coolest looking stadiums in all of Italy. If we're going to get a result today, I'm thinking we're going to have to grind it out. It's probably not going to be that impressive. There's another header off of a corner where I couldn't control my man on the near post. That's just getting so tiring. And it's a cut here, and it's a save by Luigi. Thank God for him. Oh, what a tackle here by Giovanni Schiante. And he threatens to take it forward. Really well done from our left back there. And Echo Saran off to Mbube. Sam Mbube. Unchallenged so far. And Santana Scott's going to get some space here. Might as well take a shot. I do like that. Even though we could have dribbled in maybe a little further. Just get some shots on target. Get the confidence up a little bit. Now I'm the Ophibor all over it right now. Look at him chase the ball. Oh, God. Oh, that's such a good read by Sam and Bube. World-class defending. Leads to a chance for Venezia. Blocked. 
and saved. Saran and Bube out wide. Here's Leguiza Moan. Arash, center back Arash, great tackle. And he gets it forward. And here comes Venezia. Nicely read by Arash, the center back. Brokeyard, look at the pace here. Look at the dribbling. Zachary Brokeyard, Saran. Santana Scott has some space. I don't know why he went on his left foot, but another decent shot there for Capri. And Bube wins it back, of course. Look at the ball here, it's really good. Saran to Bunbury. It's a long shot, it's on target, it's saved. Oh, the through ball is timed well. Mikkelsen, Rigatoni saves. Luigi, Luigi Rigatoni. Oh my god, another header off of a corner. What am I supposed to do there? Echo Saran has it. Teal Bunbury. Teal. Need some help, guys. And it's halftime. I am feeling very positive about what we can do in the second half. I'm loving it. The way we're playing going forward now. I'm sure Teal's a nice guy, but it's got to be Mo Money in the second half. Alfredo winning it back here. Namdi. Look at the dribbling, and he's already looking for Mo Money. Who cuts and cuts again. Mo Money is in on goal. Can he hit it with his left foot? It's, it's saved. God, what a chance, though. Wow, how did that get through Alfredo Di Napoli? It's a chance, very easy chance for Venezia. I don't know how they got through our center back there. Turns out this was just a great piece of individual play. Look at the dribbling here, just as Alfredo steps in, gets the pass off, which leads to the chance. Intercepted by Nambi, and they get it right back. Echo Saran getting by a man. Echo Saran looking for Mo Money. Come on, we need some help for Mo. Just can't even hold it up right now. Come on, Coppery. Brokeyard takes it through the midfield here. Zachary Brokeyard to Echo Saran. Great touches here. Echo Saran is surely fouled, and we are going to get a free kick. <laughs> Disregard the back of his head that does that all, on all free kicks and whatnot. Can he just get this on target? Echo Saran's going to go for goal. It's blocked. And Bube. Can we get some help here? Oh, why'd you stop your run, Zachary? Thought he was going to overlap there. Come on. Chiro wins it. And they're going to blow the final whistle before we can attack again. We definitely had some chances. We had the ball this match. I can't wait to play another one. I feel like each time I play with this team, I learn how to play a little bit better with the formation, with the players. I just, I think it's a matter of time before we start scoring multiple goals in a match. 1.8 expected goals to 1.4 for Capri. We were right in this one. And I'm pretty sure this Venezia team just got relegated from Serie A. Echo Saran was outstanding in his attacking mid-roll. I'm okay with him being on the right wing still. But I gotta say, I'm really, really liking Namdi Ofobor in the midfield a lot. And just a shout out to Arash at center back. I've noticed two players that we're going to sign to our academy. Quack Gun is obviously looking throughout Mexico, and my god, has he found a player here. Santiago Rojas. Great potential, but look at his summary of ratings there. He's a right winger, which I'm feeling like we're getting a lot of wingers, but look at his value. 1.2 million. I can only imagine he's going to be high overall. And Azizi Rahman in Uganda has found a prospect that I kind of like so far. Patrick Basili Gitwa. I think he definitely looks solid. Solid, but we're gonna wait until the next month of reports to see if there's anyone better just because we have so many wingers right now it seems and Dong Chi in Portugal so far as you go through the port can see I haven't found anybody that I'm willing to take just yet so one more month of Uganda and Portugal but we're decided on Mexico and a first look at Santiago Rojas and I mean is this not one of the better prospects we've ever gotten he's already at 62 overall he could start for Capri right now this dude has 82 acceleration 83 agility already and just a look at the standings before we play the final match of this episode against Cezena who we actually won two out of two matches against last season but right now Azure Ande are right back in last place 20th 
for AC Coppery. And we are at home today, and honestly, I think this has to be a win, at least a draw against a team that we beat twice in two tries last season. We're gonna be starting Del Grasso in the midfield today for Sam Mbube, just at the start. Sam is ready to go if needed. Other than that, really just Alfredo at center back and Vasily Singol are your only changes. Mo Money is the breakout scenario today. He's yet to score this season. However, if he can dribble and do a shot on target at least twice in this match, I'm gonna give him plus two to his dribbling attribute. Let's see if we can finish off this episode on a high note. We've given up a lot of goals, but last match I saw some improvements defensively, and each match I've seen improvements in the attack. Let's see if we can get more of that today. Andiamo! Brault-Guillard immediately going down the left wing. Zachary Brault-Guillard winning a corner right off the kickoff. Nandi Ofabor. Brilliant little play here from the Nigerian. And Ofabor goes forward. In the middle towards Echeverria. Really good idea. Mo money towards Echeverria. And they continuously deny him. It's good timing here in the throw in. Saran to Arash. That's a good cross towards Mo Money. Keeper reads it. Oh, that's so good from Michelangelo to read that there. And keep it here. Michelangelo to Mo Money. Just get the shot off Mo. Brilliant. Saved. Oh my god, he was winding up a shot. Nandi so oh, come on! Right off of the deflection. Big time ripper puts Susanna in the lead. It was a nice block from Namdi, and it just created its own chance. Ridiculous. Where are our center backs going? Brokeyard. That's really good dribbling from the Canadian here. Zachary Brokeyard still with it. God damn it. He can be so good, I can tell. Oh, good job, Armando, to intercept it here. Mo Money. Through to Armando. Echeverria. Not enough on the shot. Mo Money's shot is blocked off of the rebound. I don't understand what's going on with the hair on set pieces this year. Oh yes, Chiro, right at the last second. Big tackle and we can go forward now. Namdi with it. Oh, that's brilliant from Namdi. And Mo Money has it. Mo Money, come on Mo. The Americans saved. Another chance goes begging. Namdi reads it so well. Namdi just reads this game brilliantly sometimes. And Mo Money again is through. Mo Money in on goal. Ball roll. Mo Money gives us a chance. Tie ball game. Oh, he had one man to beat, and he sure beat him. Mo Magic. God, Namdi just reads the game so well. And somehow they get it back here. Thank God Vasily saved that. That was going to be a 46-minute classic EA goal, but he saved it. It should really be halftime now, but Shiro is covering the front post, luckily. And they're still going to get another chance here. And it does not hit the target. Halftime 1-1. What a read from Dinapoli. Ofabor. To Brokeyard. We have a chance to knock it forward here. Zachary Brokeyard. What a play here. From the Canadian. Brokeyard is in on goal. Zachary Brokeyard. Are you kidding me? Oh man. Electric from the Canadian. And he just toe pokes it into that corner. God, I didn't think he got enough on it, but it literally was just enough. He deceived the keeper. Arash, forward here to echo Saran. Saran looking for the run of Mo Money. Is that not the most perfect pass? Mo Money just barely didn't have enough to get that off. And we're going to bring in Calci Doan as a defensive substitution at left back to finish this one off now that we have the lead. That's really good dribbling here from Arash. Finding Echo Saran, who cuts and gets it back to Arash. Oh, he had options, but it seemed like he was fouled. How is that not a foul? Head this out, Alfredo. Catch it, Vasilis. And there's the final whistle on the island for a Capri victory. First of the season. 2-1 at home against Susanna. 
who we've beaten in three matches than we played them. In a big episode for Zachary Brokiard, three goals on the season, leading the club so far. He's been that difference maker. I'm, I told you to just believe in this attack. It's coming to life. Shout out to Mo. Shout out to Zachary Brokiard for the game winning run. That was magical. I thought Namdi Ofobor was outstanding all episode. Brilliant player. Alfredo Di Napoli is starting to move up that backing order in terms of the center backs that I like the most on this team. Chiro, I think, redeemed himself in this one after a couple of shaky matches. And overall, we're starting to see a little bit more from these players. I think the constants in every episode, as you're noticing though, we are definitely having fun with this team, and we're definitely seeing growth. Each episode, we're trying new things and we're improving, and that is all you can ask for at this point in the series. So, until we see more of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Like the video if you enjoyed yourself here today and you want to support me, leave me some fun comments. And until I see you next time, this has been Therios. You'll never walk alone.